Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to cover the Pico CTF challenge called local authority. And I would like to give you a little bit of an intro because this is probably uh, the most classic CTF situation ever. You're going to be faced with a logon screen and you're going to come up into this situation many times in the future. And I think that Stuffy and I, Stuffy being uh, a hacker and a very experienced CTF player, we basically go through this um, from different approaches. We attempt three things, two of which solve the challenge. So I think it's going to be useful, not only as a solution to the challenge, but also talking about how to approach this type of problem that's going to come around again and again and again. All right, enjoy. Local authority. Yep. So this one, I saw um, your notes too. You did this one just slightly different than me, if I remember correctly. Um, I'll show you how I did it. I'll show you how yeah. I did it. So, I mean, I really just used my, my, my own um, sort of method, you know, just search for Pico CTF, really. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm going to inspect that. Um, and when I do that, I'll go into the sources. And it doesn't seem like the index is really simple. Um, and there's just the light blue color there. So there's nothing really there at all. Um, so I did go into, like, I did open up Burp Suite. That was the next thing I did. Because that's every okay. time I see a login terminal, like, I always open up Burp Suite now. Mm -hmm. And I entered some stuff in, and put it in the repeater. So give me one second. So verb suite's coming into, into the action. Um, so yeah, I open the browser, turn on the intercept. Where is the burp browser? There you are. Um, and got to forward that one. And there was something interesting that I found after I tried to log in, all right? So we send that in and that response just took us to a whole new page. And there was something interesting here. There is, there's clearly input validation. And I was thinking, ah, oh, function filter, filter string. But then I realized that filter is it, like it, it checks what's a valid username and password, but that, that filtering is not verification. It does actually call a function that checks the password. So I'm like, um, but, yeah, so the logic of, of, the, of the login is all in that response. So I was like, well, I need to see this response. I need to, I need to log in or fail to log in and actually inspect that. So I clicked login and there it is. That's that PHP file. Mm -hmm. And like, it's, it's like right in your face. Like that's the first thing you see when and I think that that could be added to the method, right? Like inspect the screen you get when you fail to log in because. Yep. I, so yeah, there's, there's two ways I did this and okay. bo both are similar. So number one, I saw that you opened burp suite, which I like where that your head was. Um, but this is another example of where, like I said, um, sometimes it's, it's right in your face, like you said. Mm. So like all I did mm is I opened, I did the same thing you did. If you go to the back to the main page is I just opened the inspector like you mm -hmm. did. And so this is something I always do. I, if there's a login page like this, I always just put in random stuff and log in to see what right. pops up because it will now give you the files that it reached out to. Another way I did this is if you go back to the main source code there and look at the, um, not the style CSS, the body of the, of the, uh, so not sources, just go to elements Yeah, and you open the body. So this is another thing I did. Um, if you look here in the body, mm -hmm. you'll see that it references a login.php. So I ah. instantly knew that that's there. So then I went up top to the URL bar and I put login.php at the end of it, the forward slash login.php. And then when I went here, it, you notice it now references a secure.js. Secure so now I just went over to login.php. I changed it to secure.js and boom, there's your password. 
Yep. Yep. So, I mean, you know, I think that that's, there is almost a, a method to it that you should always inspect the page after you go in. It just, like I said, I stumbled across it when I saw that yeah. the response contained a whole bunch of code. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the password. I don't remember. Oh, um, the username was maybe just username. I don't remember anymore. I think it was admin. Admin. The only reason I say that is because it's admin.php. Hey, yep. there it is. So interesting. Um, like we saw way harder stuff with worth a hundred points. 